when we first started to date, Susan was teaching at West Junior High in Rapid City, and I would go with her to class and sit in the back and watch. And she was a special ed teacher, and she taught people, little kids with behavioral problems. She would load up some of her clothes that she wasn't wearing anymore, because a lot of the kids with behavioral problems also have poverty problems and other issues. And she would, and together we'd drive to their homes, and Susie would find out if they could wear this or they could wear that. And she... In 1986, I was asked to come give the commencement address at Isabel High School. And I thought, I have arrived. Little did I know that the boys in the class had gotten together and said, let's get that hot teacher back here and somehow. <laughs> uh, she's married to this guy running for office. So when we showed up at the Isabel Gymnasium, it was like she was a rock star and I was a security detail <laughs> off on the side, uh, and they just absolutely worshipped her. I have so many happy memories of us together there. I think about Susan being eight months pregnant with Sam, and she is a great dancer. She's one of the best dancers I've ever seen, and I'm a klutz. So she said, well, let's take dancing lessons. So you go above the old fire hall, where Don and Wave had their deal, and, and you learn to country dance. Susie was eight months pregnant with Sam. You were just doing anything to make me happy. No, I, I wanted to learn. And I, <laughs> the joke was that, that everything you learned was to either Houston or King of the Road. And so my out was, unless the band was playing Houston or King of the Road, I couldn't dance to it. I filled in for pastors who were gone quite often. Um, we went to DeSmit, to, to rural Kingsbury County, to South Hand County. You're in lots of places. Yeah. You conduct the service, you say the prayers, and you do the responsive readings, and then you try to have some type of a meditation or some thought based on Scripture, and I really like to do that. I was the state's attorney prosecuting in Western Springs, but that was a part-time job. And then in the Central Division in Federal Court in Pierre, there weren't a lot of young lawyers around. And Chuck Pochis was the magistrate in Fort Pierre, and I said I'd like to do some court work and so he appointed me. Sam was born in 87 and Pete in 91. They're great kids. Sam and I were in Pierre. And um, it's when I had come back, George Mickelson was the governor. You remember this, dear? And um, I can't remember what he said exactly. I don't know if you do, but it was something about when are you going to come home and, and uh, when are you going to stop doing this? And, Sam was really good in high school in debate, and Pete was really good in oral and terp. They have a great network of friends, and, and I think that they're trusted. I feel stronger and stronger about this the more we're together. I thought that, you know, Susan would have tired me, of me long ago, but she's oh. hanging in there. It's and really I, hard to believe it's been that long. I know, I know. 25 years. That's why churches have new pastors. That's why ball teams hire new managers. That's why banks hire new presidents. When things start to slide and not living up to their potential, you put in a new team, right? And things happen. And I think that's the exciting part about this uh, election. He's not afraid to invest in human resources when it's appropriate to do that, but he's deaf on wasting money. That's one of the qualities that I admire the most about him is his sense of eternal optimism and always his thinking about tomorrow. I think South Dakota is not on the right track, and one reason people may, may not have the sense of crisis that they probably should have is that we've gradually been exhausting our reserves. We've been living, so to speak, on borrowed time. That's because we've been robbing the cookie jar. Cookie jar is empty now.